Are you wondering what to sell on Etsy this year? Stay tuned because I'm gonna show you five amazing ideas that you can sell on Etsy using your Cricut. Now make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end because it is my absolute favorite. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Hi, I'm Crystal. Welcome to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you don't miss any of our crafting tutorials. Before we dive into our five Etsy ideas, I had to give a little shout out because I got to make my very own bundle. So I got to pick some of my absolute favorites that I thought would be perfect for anybody that is just starting out, whether you are just a crafter or whether you plan on selling some items using your Cricut. Now, the one thing about our products is they do have a commercial use license. So you guys can make and sell things with these, whether you're making sticker sheets or you're going to be making tumblers, t-shirts, but I really really came in here and bundled some of my absolute favorite pieces and it's going to give you so many different projects to make from signs, t-shirts, tumblers, stickers, like I said, even some Glowforge projects. Um, we are here at the beginning of the year so you have, you know, the water trackers and you have saving trackers, all sorts of fun stuff, crafter stuff. I mean, it's just loaded with really, really amazing designs. So I hope you guys definitely check it out before it's gone. Currently, while I'm recording this, there is 38 days, so make sure you guys check that out and don't miss it before it's gone because once our bundles are gone, they're gone forever. Now, you can still go in and purchase these individual. You just won't get them at that $24 value because this is a $229 value for 24 bucks, so you can't beat it. Let's go ahead and jump into our very first Etsy idea. So Etsy idea number one is the beer glasses, Libby glasses. So some people call them beer glasses, like I said, some people call them Libby. So whenever you're searching on Etsy, make sure you are typing that in both ways. Um, some people even tumblers, glass tumblers, and things like that. Now, the really cool thing is there's a few different style of sizes to get for these, the bamboo lids, as well as straws. You could do plastic, you could do glass, you could do different colored glasses. Um, there's The possibilities are endless, but this is something that started trending last year and is coming into 2023, and this would be a great item to sell and make some money, all right? So what I have here for you is this cute little bundle. It has 15 different designs here. Whether you just wanna do like a leopard print or you wanna do some hearts, which would be perfect, even for Valentine's Day and stuff like that. But what's really exciting, not only do we have Cold Brew Babe, we have True Crime in here, lots of different trending things, because you guys know, if you guys are anything like me, the true crime has definitely been trending. We've always, I think, been involved in that. Um, so that's one of those things that are always looked for, like whether it's true crime t-shirts or whatever. Um, so that's just another great item to sell. Now today, I'm gonna show you the Cold Brew Babe. Whenever it comes to purchasing a bun you're just simply gonna come find that in your purchases and what you can do is download files and it would download everything or you can do what I absolutely love to do is just download individual so if you click that here you're gonna get options to download these individual because if you're like me I don't want to add all 50 things to my computer right now I just want to use them as I'm using them right so you have that option and so we're just gonna go down here and find our Libby glasses and we're gonna get ready to download all right so here's our file so we're just gonna download product, sending it straight over to the computer. So let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. All right, so now that we're over here in Cricut Design Space, I'm just gonna go to Upload, and then we're gonna go to Upload an Image, and then we're just gonna go to Browse and find that folder. All right, so I'm just gonna go to my Downloads, find that folder, double click, and then I'm gonna click on the SVG versions because that's what we need. Especially if you're just now getting into Cricut projects and you're using a Cricut, you're looking for that SVG version. All right, so the one that I'm gonna do is the Coffee Babe. So I'm gonna find that one really quick. All right, so I think I found the one I need, which is right here. We're just gonna click on it and click on open. So like I said, it says Cold Brew Babe. And then I could go ahead and narrow this down. So here's the name of it. Um, I could rename it if I want to, but to tag it, I can always put in Libby. So that way I know, and I could do comma, and I can also do beer glass. So if I ever want to come in here and search specifically for those items to make a project, I can find them a little bit easier. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and click on upload. We're going to get our design, click on add to canvas. 
All right, so now you're gonna notice we've got a few pieces over here on the side. This is gonna allow you to, um, to go in here and really narrow this down. So if I wanna make all of these individual colors, I can do that, but I don't want to do that. I definitely wanna just keep the colors together. So I'll go in here and they are grouped. So you can see like this one's grouped together, this color is grouped together, and this color is grouped together. So I really don't have to do anything, but if I wanted to, come in here so for example i'm gonna hit ungroup let's see we're gonna hit ungroup and then i'll click on this color i could actually go to weld if i wanted to and that way those pieces become one so i'll do that with each color it's just something that i preference like to do just so i can visually see um just those couple of colors so like this one here is all the browns i'm gonna go in here and hit weld again and it just gives me three rows so that way I'm not visually looking at all of those because that's not something I'm doing. And one thing that I, I fail to point out sometimes is you don't have to do that every time. I could go ahead and save this. So I can go to save right here. And then I could go ahead and put in cold brew. Let's see, I think I spelled that wrong. We're gonna put in cold brew. All right, and then I can name these. So I can, you know, create a new collection here and then I'm gonna put in Libby. So this is my Libby glass stuff. And then I have it saved. So the next time, I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Um, the next time I go to make this, I don't have to go in and weld anything. I don't have to fuss with anything. It's good to go. All right, so here we go. So let's go ahead and figure out how big I want this to be. So we're gonna go ahead and take a tape measure. We're gonna take our Libby glass. I have these linked down below for you. And we're just gonna go ahead and measure here. So I'm gonna figure out my height for that I'm working with. So I'm working with around, I'm gonna do three and a half high. And then I'm looking, I can always wrap that to four inches. So let's start with our height. So we're gonna go ahead and go on this side to the height and we're gonna do 3.5 and let's see what that gives us wide. Oop, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I select everything. We're gonna go over here to our height and I'm gonna go ahead and put in 3.5, enter, and that's gonna give me 3.5. So it's gonna be perfect. I'm happy with this, we are good to go. So this first project's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and hit make it. Now saving the projects is especially important if you have an Etsy, so and, and labeling those as well, like I showed you before with Libby and stuff like that. It's going to allow me when it comes time to make that, whenever, say for example, I make to order, I don't have to fuss with finding those files. So it's saved for me. I could save it at that exact measurement too. So before I actually saved it a while ago, I can save it again. And that way it saves it at that exact measurement. So every single time I can click on that project and I can just make it every time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the mat and then we're gonna hit confirm. Now we're working with adhesive vinyl, so we don't need to mirror anything. And these just need to be around four by four and I bet you they're all pretty much gonna be around the same. Now I'm not gonna trim mine before, I'll trim it after the fact. So I've got these three colors here. So for my babe, which is going to be the gold, and then I'm going to have my brew is going to be, I think I had it this way. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'm gonna do it this way. So this is gonna be my brew and this is gonna be my cold. So I know those pieces just like so. All right, so we are ready. Once again, don't need to mirror anything. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then for my material here, I'm just gonna be choosing like a premium glossy. Um, these right here, some, I think they're even matte. Matte's my favorite, um, but I always just choose premium vinyl, permanent glossy. I've had no issues with the cut settings. And then we're gonna use a blue matte. So let's go ahead and get ready to load it. All right, we're ready. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with our first one, which is gonna be the gold one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load it on the mat just like so. Now I could have definitely trimmed these down and made them all one color and just put them on opposite sides. Um, so that way we cut on one mat, but we're just gonna go ahead and stick with this today. And then we are ready. So we're gonna go ahead and load our very first color, just like that. And then we're gonna get ready to cut it out. All right, so we're ready. We're gonna hit the go button. Our Cricut's gonna go in here for us and it's just going to cut everything out for us. Um, and so as soon as this is done, we'll get ready to load the color number two. All right, so we're done with the first color. It really did not take no time at all. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over, remove that on the mat, off the mat, if you will. We're gonna load our next color here, right up here at the top, all right. And then we are gonna go ahead and get it loaded in here. Now, the one thing is, you see how it's making me choose again? I'm gonna go ahead and choose premium vinyl, permanent glossy, but this time I'm gonna say remember. So if you're using the same material over and over again, so you don't have to keep selecting, just make sure you choose remember, and that's going to remember it every time. 
All right, so we're getting that flash. We're gonna go ahead and hit go. Now, while that's going, let's go ahead and start weeding out our first one because we've got five projects here today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get this guy ready. So you could definitely use a paper trimmer, trim this down, or just simply take a pair of scissors to remove the excess. And that's what I'm gonna do really quick. Just do that. We'll get this out of the way. We'll get ready to weed it. We're just gonna go ahead and weed all of these pieces. We're gonna lay that one back down. It's trying to carefully come up. Just be easy. There we have it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish weeding this in one second. Let's go ahead and unload this one really quick and that way we could load our last color. So we're gonna remove that one. And then we are gonna go ahead and load this one here. All right, get it back in the machine really quick. And this time I don't have to go in and choose the settings because like I said, I told it to remember. So it's gonna go ahead and load that in. We'll go ahead and continue to weed while we wait. This one's really pretty. It's a matte gold. Um, like I said, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. All right, so we've got our flash. We're gonna hit go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start to weed this one out. So we're just gonna go ahead and trim just like we did before. Cut off the excess. Get this out of the way. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and weed this one as well. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and unload our last color. All right, there we go. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and trim off that excess. I'm gonna go ahead and finish weeding out these couple of pieces. I only got like two little ones in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this one as well. If anything tries to go up, I usually just take my weeding tool like so, just kind of help hold it down a little bit. There we go. Just try to be real slow because I do have little pieces. So hopefully you can see those tiny little pieces. I've got some little dots on the other one. So I'm trying to be real slow for that. And then we are gonna snag our last two pieces here. All right, there we have it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our transfer tape here. I like to purchase the ones on the roll like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just get us a little piece. All right, get that out there. I'm just gonna trim it down. All right, and then I just kinda roll mine back on here. There we have it. And then I'm gonna probably cut me down a piece about like this. There we have it. For this one, I'm actually gonna show you how to layer all of these before we actually go over here. Sometimes it's harder to line them up individually on here. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that on one and then transfer the whole thing over. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this one here. So we're just gonna take our transfer tape up here and just smooth everything down. All right, so once you've smoothed that down, you're just gonna go ahead and take that squeegee there. We're just going to rub all of those pieces. We're going to remove the backing and then move on to the next. So for the next one, we have cold brew. So I'm gonna be real careful to line these up. It's gonna be somewhere right about in there. All right, holding this part off of the table. I'm gonna go ahead and get that piece. I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece here. All right, peel off the backing. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for this one. So now we are working with babe. So we're just gonna go ahead and get these pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and get it somewhere right about in there. Smooth that down, get this one picked up. And then we're gonna do the same thing to remove the back. There we have it. Now we are ready to transfer over to our Libby. So what I actually like to do is take my squeegee here, the ones that have the lines, it just makes it so much easier. And then we're just gonna lay it right on top. Next, you wanna take yourself a nice, clean, lint-free cloth. And you wanna go ahead and just smooth everything down, remove any sort of lint or debris. So we're gonna do that. And now we're ready to transfer. So now you can see lining everything up at one time. I could go ahead and center. And when I'm working with something like this, even with my, you know, with, um, and when I'm working with something like this, I like to just go in the middle, get one side down, and then come back and get the next, just like that. So now we can take that squeegee back and go ahead and rub everything in. 
All right, so for now, we're just gonna go ahead and get this. Anything that tries to go up, you can always just kind of rub it back down. And then we're just gonna peel. So, so cute. So hopefully you guys can see that there. It came out so cute. But this is a great item. And once again, there was 15 different designs that you guys could use and have an entire line and, and just solely sell this on Etsy if you wanted to. So there is idea number one. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to idea number two. For Etsy idea number two, we're going to be personalizing the skinny tumbler right here. Now, I just purchased this one at Hobby Lobby, but it was $5. Honestly, where I like to purchase these is on Amazon. You can get a box, I think it's like 24, but you can get the ones with different colors where it has pinks, blues, black, white, all the different colors, or you can even buy the boxes to where it's all blue, all pink, all coral, and things like that as well. So whatever your needs are for your selling, but this is something that has been selling my hotcakes for years on Etsy, so it's definitely something to get into. And everybody that gets a Cricut wants to learn how to personalize a tumbler like this. So that's just something that I think everybody's always looking for. So one of the things that I included in my bundle was this Modern Script font, because this is perfect for personalizing. Whether you're doing something like this, you could personalize tote bags, you know, all sorts of fun things, hairbrushes. There is so much stuff from the Dollar Tree, guys, that you guys can personalize, but I'm gonna stay on track. We're on number two here. So with this one here, it comes with several and I'm actually gonna use the white magnolia. And what you can do is you can see this one actually gives you previews of what the font looks like. So say for example, I wanted to preview what it would look like if I did Samantha. Okay, it would tell me and you could see all those fonts. That's what I love about this. And so I'm almost thinking delightful would look really good or possibly blissful. So I think we're gonna go with delightful, but you can see all those thoughtful as well as really, really cute. Maybe we'll do thoughtful. I don't know. I think we're going to do delightful, but you can see those. How many is included? It is absolutely crazy. But you can simply type that in, and I love that. You know, so for example, let's just say we typed in Ashley. You can see all the different ways and make your decision from there. Because sometimes until you really start playing with the font, you're like, oh, I don't know about that A. That's too much for this type of project. So that's how you can do that. So let's go ahead and download it and take it into Cricut Design Space. All right, now if you are new to downloading your own fonts, you're in luck. Today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do it. So we're gonna be using this one, so all you're gonna do is click Download Files, and then you're gonna pick which one it is. So it was, I think I decided on the Delightful, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it here, and that's going to add it to the computer. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our downloads, we're going to find our font, so it's gonna be a little bit different this time. And what's gonna happen is you're going to pull up your, once you click on that, it's gonna pull it up on your computer like this. So from here, you can see what the font's gonna look like, as well as the numbers, lowercase, capital, and then you're just gonna hit install. Now from here as well, you can see all of the fonts. You can also narrow that down to see what glyphs and stuff are included as well from here. But what we actually wanna do is take it over to Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and head on over there. All right. So now that we're over here in Cricut Design Space, there is one thing that you have to do whenever it comes to bringing in your own font. So we've already installed it on our computer. Now when it comes to Cricut Design Space, if you've already had it open and you try to go search for that, it's not going to be there. So either before you download or upload your font, make sure you're completely exited out of Cricut Design Space, or all you simply have to do is exit out, come back in, or come up here to where it says view. So just come right up here at the top, click on view, and then you can either hit reload or force reload. So I'm just gonna hit reload, and that's gonna completely reload it. So that way we're not exiting all the way out. It's just simply reloading it for us, and now it's there. So if we go to our font, so in order to access those, you're gonna go to where it says text, and then we're gonna come right here where it says font. Now to find your fonts that you've downloaded, you're gonna go to system, and then we're gonna go ahead and start to type in delight. Okay, and then it's gonna pull up. I don't even have to completely do that. It's right here. So we can go ahead and click on that. Now, if you want to find this even easier, you can actually bookmark all of your uploaded fonts. So you're gonna click on that. So from now on, you could just go to bookmark and you can find all of those fonts right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and double click on that and then click out of it. So now this is set to the delightful. So what we're gonna do is we're going to double click here and we are going to type out Samantha. All right, just like that. So what we need to do now is figure out our measurements. So we're gonna go ahead and take our tumbler here. Let's go ahead and remove this. I just kinda of wanted to leave this for a second to show you guys that you can pick these up, even Michaels, um, Joann's, you know, even Walmart, different places like that locally. Dollar Tree sometimes gets some things like this, so keep an eye out. 
Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it on top of my squeegee, and now we're just gonna go ahead and measure. All right, so to figure out my measurements, I'm just gonna take a ruler here, and I think six inches is good. So let's go ahead and type in six inches wide. So we're just gonna go to our width here, enter. And that's gonna give me almost two inches high, so we can kind of look at that there, and I think it's perfect. So it's gonna go all the way across. And now if you wanna visually see that this is in white, um, we can definitely do that as well, just so we can visually see that. We're gonna go ahead and go to make it, and we're gonna get ready to cut it out. So we're gonna say on the mat and confirm. Now, the one thing about this is, I'm gonna go ahead and use white so it pops off of here. You'd use colors or whatever, but I really think the white will pop off here gorgeous. So we're just gonna go ahead and get ready to load it. So with adhesive vinyl, we don't need a mirror or anything like that. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue, and then let's get ready to load it. All right, for our adhesive vinyl, we are going to be using, I could always trim this down. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm going to load it on my blue mat here. And then we are gonna choose the Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy once again. And we're gonna get ready to load it. There we go. So we're gonna load this and let the Cricut cut it out for us. And we're gonna get ready to personalize. All right, so we're getting that flash and go. We're gonna go ahead and hit go and let it cut it out. All right, so we're done. We're gonna go ahead and unload it, and then we are going to remove it from the mat. I'm gonna get this out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a pair of scissors here and just trim down. You could definitely use a paper trimmer, which I usually like to do, uh, but today I think I'm scissor heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way, and we're gonna get ready to weed it. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and weed this. Super quick, super easy. Now, the thing about it is, with the camera, it is hard to usually tell with the white font until I start pulling it away because the blue background really helps that pop. So now hopefully you guys can see that a little better. And what I like to do with this stuff is just kind of stick it onto the other piece as I pull it out, just like that. There we go, perfect. So now we're ready. So I'm just gonna grab me another piece of transfer and we're gonna put it on the tumbler. Now, if you remember, I wrapped this back around, so we're actually gonna be able to take this piece and use it for this now. First things first, let's go ahead and take our transfer tape and pick up our name. We're gonna do that, we're gonna use our squeegee to really rub that in. Perfect, flip it over, remove the backing. We're gonna take that squeegee once again, that way we can line this up. Now, if you wanna figure out, do you wanna go it this way or do you want it to be this way? I'm gonna work with it on this way. You definitely wanna make sure you clean this. Um, you could use some rubbing alcohol if you want to, just to make sure there's no lint or oils on there. Now, very slowly, we're gonna go ahead and start to peel this. Now, with this being a matte, uh, a, a matte surface, you may have to help the transfer off. We're gonna be nice and slow. We're just kind of walking it off there. And then once you peel this off, you're gonna be able to really push it in. So don't stress out if you are working with these matte um, tumblers. So we're just gonna go ahead and slow down and peel. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm pushing it with my fingers. So it's just getting the transfer to let go of it. And then what I like to do whenever it comes to tumblers like this, I like to let them sit for around 48 to 72 hours. The longer it sets, the more it's going to adhere to whatever it's on here. And then I would include the instructions to hand wash it, not put it in the dishwasher and all of those things, which we also provide if you guys are looking for something like that. But there you have it. How cute is this? I'm gonna bring it in. It's so like I said, sometimes this looks a little cuter with the colors. It came out so cute. So definitely love this. You guys let me know if this is something you guys are gonna be adding to your Etsy shop. Um, and also let me know if you guys have got inspiration to make your very own. For Etsy idea number three, it is simple as making car decals. Car decals is such a very, very inexpensive way to sell something on Etsy and honestly it has really good turnaround. So you could sell a ton of these, you can make a bunch of them at one time. Um, and the really cool thing about with these um, with these car decals, 90% of them are usually just done in plain white. And what you would wanna do is get yourself a nice big bulk roll of the white adhesive and it's perfect for you. So like I said, 90% of car decals are just white because they pop off of the black 
tint. Or you could definitely spruce it up and do something a little extra like this. So these holographics are really fun. Or you could do the white like this and there's actually this glitter laminate that you could actually put on top so you can make the white actually have a little bit of a shimmer. But purchasing something like this is so much fun. I'm actually gonna bring it up so you can see. And when the sun hits it on the car, it's going to look gorgeous. And this will still pop off of the black. So you'll be able to mark these up just a little bit more. So we're gonna be doing this one today. And I'm so excited because I wanted to do this not mad, just listening to 90s rap. Raise your hand if you guys can feel this vibe. If you guys ever get in the car and you're jamming out and you just feel like you're right there back at the 90s, right? So let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite song that you guys like to jam to in the car? What kind of music is it? You know, could be something heavy metal if you know, or maybe you're listening to some church stuff. Let me know what is your favorite vibe whenever you guys are traveling in the car. All right, so we're gonna make this one today. So many cute ones. You get off my tail, honk if a kid falls out. So this would allow you to have quite a bit of designs just to get started with selling on Etsy. So we've got this here. So let's go ahead and download this one and head on over to Creative Design Space. All right, back in Cricut Design Space, we're gonna do just like we did the first time with the upload, upload an image. We're gonna go to browse, and then we're just gonna simply find that folder. There we go. We're gonna look for the SVG, and then I'm gonna find the one that I'm using today. So it's this one right here, and then we're gonna go to open. Now, same thing I did before with the keywords. I could definitely do car decal. So once again, with an Etsy shop, I can go to car decal, and it's gonna bring up those decals. So we're gonna hit upload, and you could always do like, Funny car decals or whatever you'd like. All right, so we're gonna get this one here. We're gonna hit add to canvas and then we're gonna get ready to size it up. So for this one right here, I think it's sized pretty good. It is 4.9. So this is basically almost like a 5, 5.5. You can definitely pull out your ruler here and kind of look at that because you need to be able to make sure you can read it. And that's actually really good. They've already got this sized out perfectly for us. So it's gonna be easy. You notice it's one file. This is a super easy, friendly file to work with. We're gonna go ahead and hit make it. And we're gonna tell it that we're cutting on the mat and confirm. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. And for this one, I'm actually going to cut this with a different setting because this is really glossy and really thick. So we're gonna go ahead and go in here. So I'm gonna go to browse. And then I'm just gonna go to vinyl and we'll see what options that we have. So if you just type in vinyl, you're gonna really be able to pull those. So you can see where it says holographic sparkle vinyl. That's what I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna hit done. And just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do more pressure. And let's go ahead and get ready to load it on the mat. All right, so we're gonna load this really fun one here on the mat. And this is gonna be perfect. This is weather resistant. So we're gonna go ahead and load it. Now I've even used removable vinyl, honestly. So vinyl, the longer it stays on something, the more permanent it will become. I've used pattern removable vinyl and all of those things and it will honestly last a very, very long time. So, but when it comes to selling something, you really wanna make sure you can do some tests with it and make sure it is a product that's going to really last. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit go. All right, so we're done. We're gonna go ahead and unload it, flip it over, and then we're gonna get ready to weed it. All right, so for this one, I really wanna make sure I'm keeping this stuff nice and neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get my paper trimmer. I'm just kind of angling it to where the light will let me see where I'm at. And that way I can trim this down and keep these sheets nice and straight. So we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. I just kind of bend it up until I can kind of see where I'm at. You definitely would not wanna go through all of that and then cut into your design. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these ones out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead and weed it out. So we're gonna go ahead and get this and just slowly start to fill. So this one is very thick material. So if you're ever using something like this, like a foil, if you will, um, just definitely don't be afraid to use that more pressure. That's what it's there for. So if you guys are new to a Cricut, um, you can always do a little test cut so you're not, you know, wasting materials and all those kind of things. But that more pressure, that's what it's there for you. All right, so I'm gonna go through here and then just continue to weed. Now with something like this, um, you can usually kind of just kind of bend it over to find out where you're at. You can use something like a um, weeding light just to kind of help you get in there a little bit better. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to pull out all of these pieces right here. So I think we've got a little one inside of here. And there we go. But I mean, you can see from this holographic how much this just kind of spruces up. And like I said, once this is put on the black, um, 
your tint on your windows that black is just going to literally pop it's going to be so so cute and even if you did not have tint on your windows this is still going to pop off of there but like I said, when the light hits this, it's going to sparkle and shine. It's just super, super pretty. All right, so we are gonna go ahead. I've got a few more little pieces in here. I'm gonna weed out Get that one there. This one here. Now you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys, if this is something that you guys are interested in making and selling. Um, I think it's definitely a very beginner, easy product to get into to sell. Like I said, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money to invest and get started, especially if you just went all white. Because like I said, 90%, take a look around at the decals on people's windows, they're white. So you just need to buy a roll of the um, adhesive vinyl and you're good to go. I mean, just the white. So you don't have to buy a bunch of colors, but if you wanted to spruce it up and say, oh, I charge a couple extra dollars um, or an extra dollar or whatever it may be to have it with the holographic. All right, so I think we have just the one last piece and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna bring it up here to this camera first. So hopefully you guys can kind of see that shine and shimmer. I mean, how gorgeous is that? You guys may not be able to see this that far away over here, but it's gorgeous. Now, the thing about these decals, don't even just think about the car. When it comes to decals and selling on Etsy, you can make decals that are gonna go on people's laptops, their cell phones, all of those kind of things. So there's a lots of different things when it comes to decals. Some people put decals on the side of their vehicles, especially businesses and all of that. But I really, really love this, and it's definitely another way to just spruce it up. But if you wanna spruce it down, just simply do it in white. So there is Etsy idea number three. Etsy idea number four is t-shirts. T-shirts has been huge. You could do sweatshirts, hoodies, you name it. There's lots of them. All sorts of different sizes you could offer, um, different colors. You could stick with just doing black and white t-shirts. You could do a whole boho vibe. You could definitely do funny. You could do all sorts of different fun stuff when it comes to t-shirts. And so this one right here is very inspirational. I wanted to include this with you guys starting your brand new journey this year. Be you, do you, for you. That should be all of our goals this year, right? So we definitely should take care of ourselves and I really, really love this one. So inspiring. Be you, do you, for you. Some of you guys that have been following me for quite some time may know that we have actually started an Etsy site, um, walked through the process, did some tests to figure out how the selling process works, listing items, all of those kind of things. So if you guys wanna see something like that, comment down below that you guys want to see how to start up an Etsy business, how to upload your designs, how to do mock-ups and all of that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments below and we can definitely make that happen. But whenever it came to doing that, I kept to these funny or inspirational and I did everything mostly in black and white. I did sweatshirts, hoodies, t-shirts. And this time I wanted to do something in color. I'm always showing you guys white t-shirts and stuff. So we're wanting to switch that up. I found this t-shirt right here and this is next level. I grabbed it from Hobby Lobby and you know their stuff's like always 30% off. But I will link below my favorite place to buy stuff wholesale. I mostly like to buy all my stuff wholesale because I get it cheaper per shirt. But if you guys are just, you know, wanting to do some stuff locally, you could definitely snag those from Michael's, Joann's, um, all sorts of places. So I've got this really super cute pink one. I'll kind of bring the color down here. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty good. It's like a dusty pink and I thought it would be really cute for this. I'm gonna do this with black HTV on the colored t-shirt and I think it's just gonna be adorable. I'm gonna download this one and we'll see you over at Cricut Design Space. All right, so we've got our file over here. Now this one's very similar to how the Libby Glass one came in. You have three different rows here. I do love it because it gives you options. So if I wanted to do this in pink, purple, black, or whatever I wanted to do, pink, purple, yellow, um, I could definitely do that. Um, or I could simply just have it all together. Now, these are grouped together. I could definitely make sure they're all attached so they're not gonna move around whenever we go to put it on the map. So there's a few things that we need to do when we're working with a t-shirt. We're working with iron-on. Let's go ahead and turn on our Cricut Easy Press right away, whether you have a heat press, Cricut Easy Press. I've got this 320 for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let that guy start to heat up now because especially with a bigger one, it takes a little bit of time, and especially with a bigger heat press too. So always turn that on, have that ready to go. And so we are now gonna go ahead and figure out the sizing. So for this one, this is a size small. I'm gonna move this out of our way and let's get ready to measure it. 
All right, so for this small, now all smalls are not equal. So you always wanna measure and figure those out depending on if you're using the same small over and over, like if it was Bella Canvas or whatever. This is a different t-shirt, so I'm just measuring, figuring out about where I wanna go on this. I think I'm gonna do nine inches wide. I definitely want this to be a nice, big, bold design. So I'm gonna come over here to my width. I'm gonna hit nine, enter. That's gonna give me seven, four, four. So I could come back over here, look at it and say, I think that's perfect. Good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and click make it and then we're going to go ahead and tell it on the mat and confirm so for this one we're using iron on heat transfer vinyl if you will and so what i need to do is trim that down to eight inches so we need a piece that's around eight by ten so i'm going to go ahead and grab my roll grab my paper trimmer and we're going to trim it down all right, for this one, I'm using Caesar Easy Weed. I like to purchase these by the roll. I always purchase my white and my black by the roll because I use so much of it. And then I order my colors by the 12 by 12 sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this underneath here. And we needed to go eight inches. Always start with your smaller number first so you don't waste material. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, say, speaking of an Etsy business, you wanna be more cost effective. So when it comes to your t-shirts, buy them in bulk. So you're gonna save tons of money buy your vinyl in bulk, but definitely buy the colors that you're using, like I said, because you're gonna save a ton of money. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and trim this down by 10. I'm gonna do it now so I don't have to do it after the fact because I can say that this little piece here, this is gonna be perfect for some small stuff. If I ever have to cut out some little dots or even just a name, um, the, this is perfect to save. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. We're gonna get ready to load it on the mat. All right, here we go. So we're gonna load it shiny side down. We're gonna make sure that we have the correct numbers in the right way. Trust me, been there <laughs> many times. And so now we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and choose continue. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to load it. Now I'm using Caesar Easy Weed, which is the same setting as the Everyday Iron On. We're gonna load it, take it through here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ready for that. We've already beeped over here, so this is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this to cut. Then we'll go ahead and start prepping up. I can get my heat pad out here. We can go ahead and pre-press and all of that while this is cutting out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that go button. Now, while this is gonna cut out, let's go ahead and get our heat pad out here. And let's go ahead and start prepping up our t-shirt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our t-shirt here. I'm just gonna get it up here at the top. Here we have it. And then the next thing you wanna do is get a lint roller so we can remove any sort of lint or debris. All right, taking our lint roller here, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of that lint and debris so that way nothing gets trapped underneath there, especially when you're selling something you don't wanna step, skip any of these steps. So while I'm waiting for that, I could go ahead and pre-press, get all that moisture, as well as just smooth everything out. It just takes a few seconds. And that gives the t-shirt time to cool back down. So you can always have that prepped up and ready to go. So as soon as this is done cutting out, we're gonna weed it, we're gonna get ready to press it. All right, so we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and unload it, flip it over, get this guy out of the way. And now we're ready to weed it. So we're just gonna go ahead and quickly weed through this and get ready to press it. All right, so I just have a few pieces to go through here. What I love about designs like this is these pieces are so big and bold, if you will, so that it's really, really easy to weed. Um, absolutely love this design. It makes for quick work, especially if you're selling something and you need to make several of these. Um, so, I'll kind of go through here and I've almost got it. I just got these small ones now. So I'm gonna go get this one, this one, this one. Now, one thing that you can do is you can take your lint roller to kind of grab those pieces for you. So if you need something to help you kind of grab those, you can definitely just, like I said, get that, pop it on there. So something's kind of holding onto it. Because if you're like me and sometimes you have little runaways and the next thing you know, you press your t-shirt and somehow it's got on there. <laughs> Let me get that out of our way. Smooth everything out. And now what you want to do to find your center, simply fold it in half. Just get it all the way across from side to side to get yourself a pinch there. And now I know where my center. So we're gonna come down around three to four fingers here. I think this honestly looks good. I'm just gonna make sure that the t-shirt is nice and straight. So now we are ready to go. We're gonna pop this guy on here, 320 for 30 seconds. And it's amazing. 
Cricut has allowed us to start our very own businesses using a Cricut die cutting machine and then you got a Cricut heat press. And there's a hat press, there's a mug press. I mean, they've really made it nice for us to start our own little small business and get going. And then maybe later you wanna get something a little bit more industrial, but I really do like the fact that it just makes the, takes a lot of that guesswork out. So five more seconds. Now when it comes to Cricut, you definitely don't wanna skip this step. They recommend that you flip the t-shirt over and press again for 15 seconds. Because when it comes to a bigger heat press, you get nice um, pressure on that and we can't do that here. So when you flip it, you're gonna heat up the adhesive from the backside to make sure that it's sinking down in the t-shirt. So this is a hot pill when it comes to Caesar. Double check with whatever material you're using so you can just simply pull it. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this guy over and we're gonna press it one more time. Like I said, you don't, especially if you're selling these, you don't wanna skip this step and you only have to do this once again with your Cricut. You wouldn't have to do that with a bigger press. So we're gonna go ahead and press it again, giving it some nice pressure, um, just heating that adhesive from the backside for 15 seconds. All right, there we go. We're gonna lift it up and this shirt is ready to sell. And there you have it. Perfect, it's going to last wash after wash after wash. You guys can see how cute that is. I love it, very inspiring and just simple. The color is super cute, but once again, you could do this on a black t-shirt with white um, vinyl. You could do this on a white t-shirt with black vinyl and be as simple as that. And this quote with this design would just look gorgeous. So really, really love it, super easy, and such a great item to sell. And you can package this so cute um, and really have those sales coming back again and again. Really, really love it. Once again, if you guys wanna see how to sell t-shirts on Etsy, how to create the mock-ups for your listings and stuff, definitely let me know, we can make that happen. All right, so let's move on to project number five, which is my favorite, let's go. Etsy idea number five, and like I said, it is my favorite, and it is making stickers. I love making stickers, and it is something that is so huge over on Etsy. Once again, it's such an inexpensive way to start your very own business on Etsy is making stickers. You're simply going to purchase yourself some sticker sheets. You're gonna figure out what is your favorite sticker sheet over time. I actually like to purchase these label sticker sheets. Um, I get like a box of 400 for like 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below, and and so you can keep them just simple and white or if you want to make sure and have that either a clear over it put a clear laminate or if you want to spruce it up then you can definitely add something hopefully you guys can see that sparkle i think you guys can this is a glitter laminate so there is a thicker glitter, which I'm gonna show you guys today, the ch thicker chunks, or you guys have a little bit of a thinner one, but you can also get these in clear sheets. So simply getting the plain white sticker paper and then sprucing it up however you want to, whether you wanna add that final layer of laminate on top or the glitter, because this is gonna be um, your final step. Once you print it, you'll put it on top. And I'm gonna show you how to accomplish that with a print and cut with the Cricut, all right? So we've got our sticker paper. I've already loaded it. You just need a plain inkjet printer. This can one is my favorite. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. So I've included these super cute stickers here. Once again, another great item just to sell. You could also include these in your packaging. So like if you were gonna sell t-shirts, you could include these as a free gift inside of your packaging or maybe put it on top of your packaging. So just lots and lots of great ideas when it comes to a small business. I'm gonna go ahead and download these and we're gonna head on over to Cricut Design Space. All right, when it comes to stickers, sometimes these come in individuals, so that way you can pick and choose. You only wanna use this one and this one and create your own sticker sheets. What I like to do with those is I like to take cam to go into Canva and I'll put all those on a sticker sheet and make my own and then save it and bring it over here. But I don't even have to do that. With these ones, we have created a full sticker sheet for you, so it just makes it so much easier. So what you're gonna do is find that file folder again, and you guys can see that here. They are perfectly ready for us for a sticker sheet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and drag and drop and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose complex so you've seen along the way since we've been uploading today that it was so much easier we didn't have this before when you're working with something that's print and cut versus SVG this is gonna pop up with your print and cut so I always choose complex it just it's it's always what's worked best for me and then I go ahead and hit continue and then from here say for example I don't want this one in here or whatever I could go in here with the eraser tool I could get rid of those if I wanted to but I don't so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit apply and continue so for this we're gonna go ahead and choose a print and cut because if you don't they're just gonna be the outside border these have an offset to them and everything once again these guys are ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and choose print and cut and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save it 
it as stickers as a little tag so that if I type in stickers, it's gonna pop up. We're gonna hit upload. We're gonna click add to canvas and then we're gonna get ready to size it out. Now you're gonna notice right away, we brought in the sticker sheet. We are getting a warning. So if you see this red dot, you can simply click on it and it's gonna tell us those exact measurements. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is change my width to that 9.25. So it's my biggest number. We're gonna try to do 9.25, enter. And we still have a little bit of a warning. So six points, so we can go ahead and just come over here and do 6.75 and that's gonna give us almost nine inches. I'm perfectly happy with this. This is gonna be a nice sticker sheet. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click make it. It is that simple. So here's our sticker sheet. We've got the black border that is going to be our print and cut. The Cricut's gonna be able to read that. And so this is going to just individually cut around each of these stickers. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit continue. We're going to hit send to printer. We're gonna choose that printer, which I'm using my Canon here. I turn the bleed on. I personally don't like to have the bleed, but you may like to have that, but it's already a white offset, so it's just gonna be white. <laughs> so I just turn the bleed off and then I'm gonna hit print. So we're gonna let that print and we're gonna get ready to cut these out. It never gets old working with sticker sheets. These are so adorable. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a close up there. They are so cute. So you could definitely just have it cut them out. These are in white. So this would give you an amazing, just plain white sticker. Um, these aren't gonna be very water resistant, but if you just want the plain white stickers, here it goes, right? But if we wanna put a laminate on it, so that way they're waterproof, you can put them on laptops, you know, your car, whatever you wanted to, we're gonna do that now. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and take our paper trimmer and we're gonna trim this down to where it's gonna fit perfectly inside of this black square. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our tape measure and we're simply going to measure the inside. So I'm gonna do about seven, let's see, seven and a quarter, I think I'll be able to accomplish. Seven and a quarter. We do not wanna get on that, um, that black line. So we're gonna do nine and a quarter, should cover everything there. And I may even try to back, back that seven up. Yeah, seven and a quarter by nine is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take our laminate sheet and we're gonna cut that down now. All right, so we're gonna take our laminate sheet here. We're gonna do the smaller number first so we don't waste material. So we're doing seven and a quarter, all right, by nine and a quarter. So we're gonna flip it and we're gonna go ahead and trim. Perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and get these out of our way and we're gonna get ready to put it on our stickers. All right, so here we go. So what we need to do is we are gonna go ahead and take this laminate sheet. I like to go ahead and just get it started. So I'll just bend this over, right? There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the top and carefully work our way to the bottom. Once again, do not get it on the black border. So I'm gonna carefully make sure I'm staying inside, just like that. And so now what I'm gonna do is slowly do a push and pull. So hopefully you guys can see this at the same time. I'm trying not to mess up my stickers. All right, push and pull. You definitely didn't wanna buckle that, so that's why I was trying to be careful. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my squeegee here and just smooth everything out, get any sort of bubbles out. There we go, this is gonna go smooth on to my mat anyways. And so hopefully you guys can see those. Look at that sparkle. So now let's go ahead and get ready to cut it out. So what I need to be mindful for is to come back over here, I can hover on this to say, okay, I need to load it on the mat in this direction. So we're gonna bring in our mat here. And like I said, I'm paying attention because you don't wanna accidentally put it this way or this way, or it's not gonna cut right. So we're gonna go ahead and go get it up here at the top, just like that. We're just gonna smooth everything down. And having that on the inside is gonna allow the Cricut to still read it. So the Cricut will struggle to read it if there's anything on top of that black line. So now I'm gonna go ahead and choose that same holographic sparkle vinyl because it's basically giving me almost that same thickness. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, if you wanted to do a die cut, you could do like a heavy cardstock so that way it'll cut all the way through. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure once again and choose more pressure. So we are gonna go ahead and load this just like so. Let it load in and we're gonna be ready to cut them. But I love these sparkly stickers. I have all of the supplies linked down below for you guys, but it's gonna give you guys so many options. You can have this plain white stickers. You guys can have the glossy stickers. Then you can have the holographic stickers. Um, you can make these as small. So if you needed to make this set smaller, you could actually get two sticker sheets on one. We're gonna go ahead and hit go. But you can actually get, make if you made these smaller sticker sheets, I could get two of those on one technically, make some little bitty stickers. But 
these ones are gonna be perfect to throw in as well, like I said, to like if I sold t-shirts or down into this tumbler or whatever. But stickers has gotta be another one of my absolute favorites. And this is definitely just a favorite to get started. You will hear so many different success stories from people starting their very own sticker business. And that's what's awesome about our designs with that commercial use. You can make something as simple as this and sell it. It is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this completely read it and cut it out and we're gonna check them out. Since you have stayed all the way to the end, I'm gonna show you a little tip. Before we unload anything, I could actually go ahead and test this to see if it's gonna come off correctly. If it's not, all I have to do is hit that go button again, and it's gonna go over this one more time. So it's gonna go ahead and just go right back in there, and it's just gonna cut over everything one more time. So it doesn't even need to read again, it's just simply gonna go all over all of these again. So that's something that I don't talk about very often, and I thought I would share that today, which is perfect because it didn't get all the way through there. Um, even with that more pressure. So I would probably even do something like a heavy card stock with this. Um, I can never remember from time to time every time I do these. I switch it up so much, which I really need to get to a method and stick to it. But um, the really cool thing is before you unload, get your little weeding tool or try to bend it a little bit and get those to peel if they're not peeling for you correctly. Or say it came out as a kiss cut, but I actually want it to be a die cut. Just hit the play button. It's not gonna try to reread. It's just gonna simply recut. All right, let's try it again. So same thing, we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna go back in here and we are going to see, hold on, I'm trying to see if I can get this up there, perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm just testing it here and you guys can see the sticker was a success. So it came off, so we're good to go. So at this point, I can go ahead and unload. And so while you guys are trying to figure out those, um, your, those test cuts and things, that's one way to do it without wasting and having to reload, I would have to reprint because you can't just reload this. So definitely slow down, test it on the mat, and then reload it if you need to. Again, just hit the play button. So then what I like to do is flip it upside down to remove it, and that's gonna keep it from peeling um, or just kind of bowing up, if you will. Then what I like to do is I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and we're just gonna remove that black border. I'm gonna kind of stick that guy there so you guys can check them out. But for this, if you were gonna be selling these, you wouldn't wanna sell it with a black border on, so you're just gonna go ahead and get it nice and straight, and this is gonna make a perfect sticker sheet. So if you're wondering, how do people make those perfect sticker sheets, this is exactly how you do it. So depending on the size, like I said, I could actually do double to get those smaller stickers. This would be something more to put in packages and all that. But people may be buying the stickers from you to throw in packages. So they may be looking for something a little bit bigger like this this or something that's completely die cut, which means it's cut all the way through. Once again, I would use like a heavy card stock for that. Um, and you may have to go around it twice for that as well. Just play around with those cut settings. But let me go ahead and bring this down here so you guys can see, look at that sparkle. They're just absolutely adorable. And it just makes the stickers so much extra special. So you guys let me know down below, which one is your favorite? What is something that you're wanting to get in for 2023 to start selling? Is it sticker sheets? Is it gonna be, you know, personal? personalizing gifts? Is it going to be making the Libby beer glasses? Or maybe you're going to be making decals. So even with your decal business, maybe you're going to have decals as well as stickers. It's going to be a whole line of those. Um, maybe you're going to do t-shirts. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. Are you guys wanting to start a, an Etsy business? And if you are as well, what questions do you have for starting the business? We'll try to answer those as best as we can down below, or maybe come back and do like a Q&A style video to help you guys successfully start that business. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you guys have, please remember to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you guys do not miss a crafting tutorial.